In the top boardrooms have been paid over a hundred times the rate of the take-home pay of the average worker. Now, uh, I've got to say, there's been a massive reaction to this uh, everywhere, really, all over the press, the internet. People, uh, many people anyway, are livid. They're furious. They're saying this is capitalism gone mad. Uh, they want pay caps. Uh, they want workers on boards. They want big shake-ups of the whole uh, economic system. Capitalism uh, is broken, they say. What do you say, James? Yeah, I, w I would agree with that. I mean, I think if you have... Uh, we, at the moment, lots and lots of people are struggling. The government is calling for pay restraint and saying that people cannot have, always have pay rises because it will be inflationary. Then at the same time, you have CEOs announcing, you know, bumper profits and, and bumper bonuses for themselves. I think, you know, I'm not sure you can cap the top level of pay. It's about ratios within companies. So, for example, McDonald's, the CEO of McDonald's earns almost 2,000 times as much as the average McDonald's worker. And if you're one of those workers, that's, that's, that's kind of, that's going to great if you, if you're struggling with the cost of living. And I think you don't have to be an anti-capitalist to see measures like workers on boards as something that could be done to redress that. I mean, Theresa May, the, the former Tory leader, she was proposing originally uh, for, for more workers representation on boards, because then you can actually have, you know, if profits go up at the company, everyone at the company should benefit that. It's not, it's not to say there shouldn't be profits made and, and it's somehow bad if profit goes up, but some of that has to be shared out with the workers and, and some of these companies do that and some of them don't.